hello guys how are you uh so what we have here is um an e-commerce um platform uh built with wordpress and woocommerce so i'm going to show you how this platform is being integrated uh to sap in real time all right so i'm going to navigate to products so that i show you uh the products that are in the system but maybe before i do that let me just show you how the website looks like so that you just have an appreciation that is actually an e-commerce platform so this is our website and we are currently doing a little bit of some work there but this is how it's supposed to look like all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to backend uh then navigate back to the products so that i show you the products that are there as you can see here there's an item that came from sap which is this one let me just do a search here so that we just make sure it's an item so this is another item that we've previously uh, loaded from uh sap business one to the platform all right so i'm going to search for another item here then just click here as you can see this item doesn't exist so what i'm going to do here is uh i'll first off try to create this item uh on the e-commerce uh, platform so what i'm going to do is i'm going to navigate back to sap uh let me just navigate to sap then move to the item that we want to be added so what is happening is in most cases you may create uh the e-commerce platform after you have already created the item so in such cases uh the system the integration is going to create uh, the new item when you update in the event that you are creating a new item it will also create the item as long as the item has not been found on the on the website and is a website item as you can see here so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to update this item i'm just going to remove this text here and click update all right so after i've updated uh the item so what the system does is it's going to send the event to an api which is simply going to run the process of uh, uploading the item so that it doesn't drag as you can see this has been updated sap is not uh, dragging in and all that it's very responsive all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to navigate back to the website then we're going to search for this item last time we searched it wasn't there and this time around the item is now there so this is the item so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to go to the first item here uh so that i show you the item being updated in real time all right so as you can see this is the item that is there i'm just going to go back to sap then i'm going to navigate to the first item then i'm going to update it so just to make sure that we can see that the item has been updated i'm going to click update here then i'm going to uh, click update as you can see sap is very responsive no drag nothing and also this has been set to be his website item and all that so i'm navigating back uh to uh, the website so that i show you that the item has been updated all right as you can see this is actually being done in real time all right so there are a few more things that you may want to know uh there are other configurations that we have done on the system of course uh if you come here you're going to be able to see woocommerce integration you can create user defined fields you can create user defined tables you can upload items if you want to do it manually then the system goes through and updates everything and the good thing about it like i indicated the job is being sent to an external api which is running um on the same server uh, it's not running from within sap business one and if you want an add-on that does everything from within sap business one, also have that add-on but the only problem is it might drag the user interface a bit all right so the job is sent to an api then the api is the one that processes everything all right so you can also import orders you can resolve errors you can update update uh, stock levels and many other things so there are also another configurations that we have done so if we come here and you go to price list i may not be able to show you everything i'm just going to show you things that may matter here so you have to select the price list that you're using um for the prices on the website all right so for example here if you go right to the end uh of the window here you should be able to see uh is price list here uh, selected to, to yes yes so you have to select the price list that you want to use and also you have to select the web the warehouse that you're using for example you should be having a very specific warehouse in the event that you want to use multiple warehouse this is uh to reflect your stock on the website you still can be able to do that you are not recommended to use the same warehouse that you're using to transact or to sell uh in a shop because the quantities may change and you might need to do a lot of uh, updating on the website and all that so it's recommended that you create a very specific warehouse in sap business one that will be handling uh stocks for the website so that you don't enter into conflict with um, 
users after they buy something that is no longer in stock so basically this is how it works there is a lot more to it you can do your taxes um, configure your text classes you can configure your exchange rates you can configure uh, the deliveries you can configure uh, the business partners that you're supposed to use when you're transacting with the website you can either use the actual business partners that are made from the e-commerce platform um, to SAP Business One, there is a lot that you can do, or you can use uh, sort of like cash customers for the website that you then configure. You need to configure the bank that you are going to use, and as well as the account that you are going to use to receive them, the money that will be coming from the from the website. So there is quite a lot that you can do with this uh, add-on, and we have done it for a number of uh, customers now, and it is proven to be working. All right, so this is a real-time integration and uh should you want to see more about the um, integration uh you can always contact us all right thank you so much for watching goodbye